Also new today, the Louisville Metro Police Department is defending a felony charge for 87 protesters who took part in that demonstration outside of the Kentucky Attorney General's Louisville home. The department has released two videos today of the chants that made police believe the protesters were using force or a threat directed toward Daniel Cameron. Arsenite Gavagagadis is live to explain why protesters say the claims are out of context. And tonight you were also there Tuesday covering the protesters as they were there. You heard their chants. That's right, Doug, and even before the protest, we got an inside look in training session that morning and two of the videos released. LMPD says you can hear protesters say, quote, if we don't get it, burn it down. But one of those clips, Doug, was captured outside of Ballard High School, which was before protesters even knew they were going to march to Daniel Cameron's house. This is one of two videos Louisville Metro Police released where protesters are chanting outside of Ballard High School. LMPD says before arriving to Cameron's home, the intent of the protesters was to escalate their actions, which they interpreted as violence. Escalation means what's the next level of organizing, and we decided that a mass civil disobedience was the escalation. Says co-founder of Until Freedom from New York, Linda Sarsour. We were there when a participant was leading the chant. The minute the law enforcement agent comes, you get up. Put your back straight. This was at the training session that took place hours before the demonstration Tuesday. Sarsour is telling participants to not resist arrest, but she never announces where they're going. And guess what? You're still going to go to the action. You're still not going to know where you're going. The main message, keep things peaceful. We're not going to get physical. We're not going to beat anybody up. Building community and being nonviolent about it. We capture the march from Ballard that ended at Cameron's house. Then this happened. We are we are outside. The attorney general's home. Police say when protesters arrived, they entered Cameron's yard without consent and searched through the windows. But our cameras captured a moment when an organizer stopped the person from walking closer to the front door. <laughs> According to police, in this second video from LMPD, protesters yell the same chant. Sarsour says it's a common shout in demonstrations. We don't get it, shut it down. If we don't get it, burn it down is one that is used across the country. And it refers specifically to oppressive systems that continue to keep black people and people of color down. And Doug, it's not only the protesters who have questions about the legit legitimacy of the allegations and the charges. We spoke with a legal expert, U of L professor of law, Sam Markison. He says before a state can punish speech on the ground that is threatening or intimidating, the speech must be clearly targeted at someone. He adds if the prosecution were to go forward with the felony charges, he's confident they will be dismissed. Live outside LMPD headquarters, Senegar Gavrigadigas, WHES 11 News. All right, tonight, thank you very much.